Cartoon's uh, grand opening. We're at the compound, and of course, here with Mr. Cartoon. Um, thank you for inviting us, first of all. Yeah. Uh, this is an awesome event. We actually have a chance to come down here and see a little bit what went behind sure. creating this whole franchise that you have here as Mr. Cartoon. Uh, the inside look, it's, it's, it's a unique one. And at the same time, obviously, it's, it's a different perspective. You know, sure. We've seen your art, uh, the tattoo business, everything that you've done. Where, where some of that uh, influence came from uh, that brought you in in that way and how you've kind of incorporated that into your sanction line, what exactly did you do to kind of keep that uh, alive in your, your, your newest release here? Well, I grew up at car shows, you know. I, my father used to take me to car shows when I was a kid and I'd walk and see these cars. And I'd go from RG Canyon car shows to lowrider car shows, everywhere in between. And I wanted to know how I fit in. Like, what could I do to be a part of this movement? You know, and I seen this old guy airbrushing t-shirts. And I watched him for about 20 minutes and I was like, I think I could draw better than that guy. I was probably about 14 years old, you know? And, and that's where I got my start. I started airbrushing portraits of people's cars on t-shirts. And it snowballed into doing murals on the cars and paint and, and lettering and stuff like that. So. I just became infatuated with cars at a young age. It's one of those things, the, the car enthusiast world, uh, where we come from, we're all born and bred. It's something that gets into us when we're young. It's something that starts out as a, it's usually a story and it's a family thing, you know? And right. that's a thing we see a lot of in your art and in everything you bring about is that community, that sense of family comes out. Sure. Uh, it, it's a representation of what kind of brought you up uh, from that youth kind of, like you said, uh, as, a, as a child growing up, and kind of those things that help define you as an artist. And right. We as a company at the same time saw that same opportunity when we got a chance to work with you on some of those exhaust systems. Uh, uh, you've got some great cars out there and uh, we wanted to obviously see what we can do to enhance sure. what you want. Um, one of the things that we've done with obviously the cars is trying to really bring out what we, we think is a character, the sound of that motor, that essence, and, and bring out the right thing. Same kind of thing you do in your art. In the automotive world, where, where do you kind of see uh, your relationship with like Bag of the Flow and the things that we've done? Well, it's really important that when you have a car that it has exhaust on it. You know, to hear that rumble, to hear that, you know, they, they should be able to hear me about a block away before I get to the shop. You know, well, here comes cartoon. And, uh, all that's very important. I, I look at a car that's not even done unless the exhaust is right. It gives me more horsepower. I just love it all the way around the sound. That Magnaflow in it makes a big difference. Well, we, we definitely appreciate the time you've taken to introduce all of us out here to what little part of the world that you're kind of trying to grow out there and that message you're trying to bring, uh, again, from the art side down to the automotive side and now here bringing out the new sanction line. So uh, I want to thank you again for that opportunity to talk today. Thank uh, you. And good luck on everything you're doing. All right, I appreciate it.